This video illustrates a new ability to split a model in GrabCAD Print Pro. Previously, if I had a model that was too large for my, my build volume for my printer, I'd have to take it into CAD and split it there. Now I can split it in GrabCAD Print Pro. Uh, my desired printer for this particular activity is uh, my F900, but my boss has told me that it's not available. So I'm going to switch to my 450MC. And you can see that the fixture that I have to print does not fit on that printer. So, since I need to get this printed as soon as possible, I'm going to use the split feature and uh, pick my model and I'm going to split it. As you can see, uh, I have a default split in the Y direction. I have linear draggers to change its position forwards and backwards and also rotational draggers to change its position at angles to the default orientation. If uh, I want to go back to the beginning, I can reset to a predefined orientation, the Y orientation, which is what we started with, the Z orientation, and the X orientation, which is the one I'm going to use here because I think it will best fit my job. I can also change the direction of the split. And what the direction of the split does is allow you to uh, determine which part's going to have the pin and which's going to be the receptacles if you have registrations. Now. Since I'm not going to be reassembling it, I want to make it easy for my operator to uh, take these two parts and put them back together after printing. So I'm going to add registrations. And I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see on base that the, uh, I've got a registration mark, and it's a pentagon in shape. So I click at the location where I want to place the registration mark. If I decide that I don't want a registration mark, I control click on it and that removes it. When I've added all the registration marks that I want, I'm going to add a couple more over here, add one there, and one here. I click the split button. And my model is split in two. Uh, by default, split creates an assembly with the name of the model has been split, and two halves that uh, have a dash zero and a dash one for the components that actually need to be printed. Uh, I can disassemble those models. And you can see, because I have uh, my automatic tray option turned on, it has moved the second model to, the, to another tray. So I can just proceed with printing. And as you can see, this is our part. And it fits cleanly and can be printed on my 450MC.